why don't people want to learn? I have been talking about Jürgen Klopp and his refusal to preach defense for a very long time. But nobody wants to listen. When you're building a football team, the defense is just as important as the attack. Now, sometimes there may be um, instances in which that really doesn't really um, matter as much. Case in points like a Barcelona or even like a Real Madrid, when your attack is so good, you can get away with an average to defense. But even Barcelona of today, with arguably the best player in the world and perhaps one of the arguably one of the best club football players of all time, even them, they have a great defense and Valverde focuses on defense with a team that has a guy like Lionel Messi. Liverpool do not have any player who is even close to Messi's level. So what gives you the right to not focus on defense, get better defenders and actually work on, on defending? The goals that Liverpool considered against West Brom are disgraceful. Completely and utterly disgraceful. And the thing that just shocks me is that Klopp, it's how stubborn this man is. That people have told it time again, that your defense is crap, your defense is crap, get better defense. Defenders, your defense is crap. Tr focus in defense, but somehow you believe that no, my philosophy is right. That my attack is so good. I'm such a genius in my offensive strategy that people can blitz any team that comes through. But yet again, for Liverpool, because because that is flawed. From the reason I said before, because, first of all, two points. It is flawed in the sense of you don't have. Lionel Messi. You don't have a name out. So you, you, you can you know you do not you're not afforded that luxury. And it is flawed in the second sense of the, the that this is how football works, how life works. The attack isn't always gonna be that good. That's not what has on how life or football works. The attack isn't going to be amazing in every game. So when it's not amazing, you need to have a defense to fall back on. So if your attack can give you one G or two, two Gs, your defense can hold off and not concede. Three G's! Three G's in the first half. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. And the worrying thing is that Klopp won't change. Klopp will look at that game and say, we were, we were unlucky, but I'm not going to change my philosophy. This is my, my, my philosophy. And this is what managers have to understand. It's not about you. Check your ego at the door. You're paid too much money for this not to be about you. It's about the team and it's about winning. So when you're a manager of a team and you're paid ridiculous amounts, all that matters is the result. How can your philosophy matter more than getting a result? It's about getting a win. Whatever it takes to get a win. Like, that's why for Mourinho, in Sosa Mourinho once, Mourinho is like, I'm here to get a result. If it means attack, we attack. If it means we defend, we defend. If it means that we hold the ball, we hold the ball. All, all that matters is the result. But for Klopp, is like, no, we must win my way. We must win playing my way. And the question has to be asked. Klopp is a good coach. How good is he really? Is he really a great coach? Should he really be put in the same breath as a Guardiola or a Mourinho? Because for me, a great manager is malleable. He is dynamic and he, does, he, can, he can do many different things. That's not what Klopp does. Klopp is too narrow-minded and is too closed off and by doing that he just harms himself so um liverpool fans you're in a fix because you're not going to win any any, any trophy this season you're in you're in, you can't win the premier league you can't win the, the champions league and you gotta ask yourselves a big question are you happy with club do you think you can move forward with, with Klopp? Are you happy with an ultra attack but a crap defense? Because attack wins you games. Defenses wins you championships.